Today we are making the top 3 AIs compete against each other to make the best FIFA game entirely from scratch. No templates, no shortcuts. Each AI will have exactly 3 chances to fix up any bugs, polish the overall game mechanics and finally present their own version of the FIFA game. Now the prompt I designed for today's challenge is extremely long. This is by far the most detailed prompt I have ever designed for any challenge on this channel. So honestly, the AIs have absolutely no excuses today. If they mess this up, it's on them. So first up, we have ChatGPT. This is the most expensive AI humanity has ever built. So logically speaking, we should be expecting ChatGPT to win today's challenge without much competition. So let's enable the extended thinking mode and then paste the prompt directly into ChatGPT. And there it goes. ChatGPT has started working on the game. Hopefully, in a few minutes, we should be getting something decent, playable, and not completely broken on launch. So ChatGPT took around 10 minutes and finally gave us this code. Let's copy it, put it inside VS Code, and then run it to see how it actually looks like in action. Okay, so the game is not opening at all. We're clicking on the start game button, but literally nothing is happening. No loading screen, no error message, no drama. Just silence. Let's tell ChatGPT about this issue and hope it fixes everything in just one single attempt. Because I like to use the final attempt to add more features and not waste it completely. So this is the supposedly fixed code now. Let's test it again and see if the game actually works. Because if it doesn't, that's already embarrassing. So here is the game, it's now called GX Soccer. Probably because of the Opera GX browser that I'm using right now. So ChatGPT basically branded the game based on my setup. Okay, so the game is fully functional now, and honestly, I'm impressed. The players actually look like humans instead of just basic cylinders. And we can actually shoot the ball and tackle the other players. The animations aren't perfect, but it definitely feels like an actual football game and not just a moving camera. So let's play this game seriously and see how it feels like. Does it feel smooth, does it feel fair, or does it feel like I'm skating on ice? So I just finished the match and we won by a mile. Say Ronaldo who? But the controls are actually terrible. Walking around feels like a shore in this game, like the players are stuck in mud. Turning is weird, movement feels stiff, and it's hard to line up shorts properly. So let's ask ChatGPT to improve the walking mechanics and also make the stadium look a bit better. Because right now the vibe is training ground with a few textures. So this is the final version of the game made by ChatGPT. And honestly, this is amazing. The improvement on the stadium are really impressive, there's more details, it looks more like an actual venue, and the whole scene feels less empty. Even though the controls didn't get fixed the way I wanted, I still think this is a near perfect web best 3D football game. For this attempt, I'm gonna give ChatGPT a solid 9 out of 10. Let's move on to the next AI. Before we start with Gemini, I want you to subscribe to my channel and help me reach 1000 subscribers before the end of the year. Thank you. So now it's Gemini's turn. Gemini usually performs quite decent in these type of challenges, so I have some expectations here. Let's turn on thinking mode and give it the prompt. Soon enough, we will be getting a decent football game, at least something that runs without begging. So Gemini actually wrote a very long piece of code. I'm getting my hopes up for Gemini now, because long code usually means it tried to build more systems, not just basic demo. Let's run the code and see how the game looks like. Oh boy, this is the most complete football game we have seen today. There's a small problem with the camera view though. If we look from above, there's a weird black ceiling like covering the ground. Like the stadium accidentally spawned an evil roof. But other than that, everything seems really solid. The controls are good, movement feels responsive, and the spectators are honestly amazing. They even have red, blue and neutral colors, which makes the whole stadium feel alive. I just played the game for about a minute and scored a lot of goals already. And that's a good sign because it means the ball physics and shooting actually makes sense instead of being random. So let's ask Gemini to add even more details to the game, like improving the stadium design and making the player models look more human. Because if it already works this well, extra polish could make it unstoppable. Now the game is giving us errors and isn't opening at all. I honestly don't know why this is happening. Gemini literally gave us a working game just a couple minutes ago, and now it's completely broken. This is the classic situation of, it was perfect until you touched it. Let's tell Gemini about this issue. So Gemini has now given us its final code, and this is an entirely different game. 
it looks way more crappy overall, but the player 3D models are slightly better. However, the spectators are completely gone now, and that was literally one of the best parts. So it kind of feels like a traded atmosphere for a tiny model upgrade. But for this challenge, we are only taking the best attempt into consideration. So if we look at Gemini's first attempt, it easily deserves a 9.5 out of 10. The spectators were amazing, the controls were really good, and overall it performed extremely well. Like it actually felt closer to a real FIFA style experience than I expected. Moving on to the next AI. It's now Claude's turn now. This AI has a reputation for being one of the best when it comes to coding. So let's put that reputation to the test. Here's extended thinking enabled and here's the prompt. Let's see if it can actually deliver a good football game or if the hype is just hype. So Claude has finished coding and here is its game. It's called Soccer Legend and it's not working at all. We're just getting a black screen, no UI, no field, nothing. It's like the game is taking place in the void. Let's tell Claude about this problem and hope we get a working football game in the next attempt. Because right now we have literally zero. So here's the game now and right off the bat the sensitivity is insanely high. We can't even focus on one thing properly. The camera is spinning like I'm playing on 9000 dpi with no mouse pad. Let's run it through VS Code and see if the input sensitivity improves. Because sometimes it behaves differently in different setups. Ok so the controls are absolutely crazy. It's honestly worse than being drunk. I'm trying to move forward and the camera is doing a full gymnastics routine. Let's tell Claude about the controls issue and hope it fixes it. Because this is Claude's last attempt for today and we need at least something playable. So this is the final submission from Cloud. Honestly, it's terrible. The controls are awful, we can't even take proper control of the ball, and everything feels unstable. The enemy player AI is also terrible, they're not even moving at all. It's basically me playing against training cones, except the cones might be smarter. So for this really bad attempt by Cloud, I'm gonna give it a 2 out of 10, just because the game technically runs, and that's being generous. So in today's epic FIFA game development contest, ChatGPT scored a 9 out of 10, it was well deserved as it had almost everything, good visuals, tackling, shooting and solid structure, but the controls were pretty bad so we had to detect some points. Next up was Gemini with an amazing 9.5 out of 10, it performed extremely well on its first attempt by creating a game that actually surpassed ChatGPT's best version, mainly due to better controls, smoother gameplay and better spectators that made the stadium feel real. Its latter attempts were pretty bad so we ignored those completely. And lastly we had Cloud which performed quite badly by making a game that was barely playable. It lacked almost everything, bad controls and no enemy AI at all. So we had to give it a 2 out of 10. So today's winner is none other than Gemini. So that's it for today's video, if you enjoyed watching this AI coding showdown, make sure to subscribe and like the video and help me reach my goal of 1000 subscribers.